everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial i will show you how to distribute some object and in our example over there i'm gonna be distributing a tree like this uh, i will just duplicate some copies of this tree and using geometry nodes in order to distribute it uh, over surface over the ground for example so let's jump into it i have uh, added the, the this sapling using the add-on sapling tree generator uh, snap it to the ground and the ground it's a terrain generated using uh, and landscape add-on as shown here so let's go forward to show you some important uh, junction notes to make uh, series going to be distributed uh, through this uh, terrain as shown here by clicking on junction nodes uh, at the top of the 3d viewport editor as shown here we have the tree and we have uh, also the terrain as shown here click on you to use your notes also as shown as shown here we have two notes the group input and the output note also First of all, let's go to search for uh, distribute points on faces. Shift A. Go over here. Search for distribute. Distribute points on face as shown here. So just uh, drop it in between these two vertices as shown here. Also, let's uh, search for instant on points node as shown here. Just retype re it over there. Instant on points. So just drag it over here. I will uh, connect it to the other node. So let's move it and uh, drop it in between these two nodes as shown here. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, we have noticed that the this terrain is disappeared. So let's uh, click on Shift A to search for the join geometry node as shown here. Join geometry. So just uh, drop it in between these two two nodes, as you can see here. So just uh, drag it just a little bit uh, up. Then, so let's connect it to join geometry node. And again, we see that uh, our terrain is uh, is coming back. So, which node should be used in order to distribute uh, the tree, our object uh, that should be distributed? On the surface of uh, this uh, terrain as shown here so just let me show you something very interesting we could we could connect uh, the object info to to the instance on points node as shown here so just as sh search for it then shift a go over here search for the object info as shown here object info Take it just uh, close to this uh, node, close to the instance on points node, in order to distribute our uh, mesh, which is uh, subling tree, as shown here. So let's uh, connect uh, the socket of geometry to the socket of uh, instance. I've noticed that uh, nothing is happening as shown here because uh, you should go over here for uh, this uh, object info node. Click on this eyedropper in order the, to show what objects you want to distribute on the surface of the terrain that I've created. Just we have landscape and terrain we want to and the tree. We want to distribute the tree. Click on uh, tree to select it. As shown here, you can see that the, the tree is distributed. The 
And uh, so let's do some settings in order to make uh, this uh, random distribution of tree on the terrain. Because of uh, the scale, you should uh, should scale it uh, and make it much much suited to your uh, 3D dimensions, also as shown here. So just uh, bring this uh, just a tiny bit to the bring it over there instance on point shown here and if you want to use for example a collection just um using one tree if you want to use a collection of different uh, kinds different categories of trees you should change this uh, you should change this uh, node object info to collection info and you can do some settings in order to make it much more suitable in this case I'm gonna be doing some things uh, for the instance on points some factors over over here we have a rotation and scale so in order to make all trees uh, like this small and uh, suitable for your scene you need to do some settings and uh, change some factors like this Rotation, if you want to control rotation of different trees to distribute them randomly on this terrain. Also, you should change this play with these values of scaling on different axes. For example, 0 0.11, hit enter. And also, You can play around with these uh, different values, like this is gonna be, and this is gonna be. And this is gonna be making the all these trees on this terrain, as shown here. So you can make it much more smaller, like this. As you can see here, we have the terrain and the uh, different uh, trees distributed on this terrain just using this node as shown here. And that's very amazing. You can play around with uh, these different values like the values of rotation on different axes and also for scaling. You can change the scale and the size of different trees and the distribution of these trees uh, all over this uh, this terrain as shown here. So in order to distribute these different trees on this terrain, uh, randomly you can use the, the node random value. So shift A, go over here to search uh, random value like this take it and drag it just uh, close to to this node so uh, plug uh, this uh, value socket to the scale so let's retype and uh, making this value much more smaller 0 0.09 for example as shown here this is going to be distributing different uh, trees on the plane on this uh, terrain so let's uh, decrease it to 0 0.04 for example this is going to be distributing the different trees on this terrain the minimum value is uh, 0 0.0, 0 for example 9 for example and you can see that we have uh, some trees uh, it's gonna be distributing all these uh, trees uh, over this terrain in between these two values minimum and the maximum value as shown here also you can play around with the 
this seed in order to make uh, different kinds of distribution as shown here and that's all for our tutorial today i hope this is useful for you to learn geometry nodes thanks for watching